okay now we're going to look at the storage location okay let me explain what is a storage location storage location is actually a further subdivision of the plants okay as you can see in this uh, diagram here I have subdivided a plant to several storage locations which means that these storage locations are subsets of uh, plants because a factory or manufacturing plant in New York, uh, San Francisco and Houston in our example can be very huge in nature okay let me show you how a plant will look like imagine New York factory our New York factory is very huge something like this New York factory okay let's say this small box represents uh, 100,000 square feet square feet so this is the 100,000 square feet factory 100,000 square feet factory area so as you can imagine this is very huge 100,000 100, square feet is very huge area so if we were to locate a particular product or material or goods whatever you call it in in such a big factory um, it will be very difficult for us to go around and look for a particular material in this huge factory so what we do is that we will have uh, several warehouses something like rooms in our in a house just imagine the warehouses are something like rooms in a house let's say we have three warehouses within the factory let me just call it SL1 SL1 stands for storage location 1 and storage location 2 SL2 and storage location 3 SL3 which means that um, these storage locations represents warehouses within a factory so that when I uh, enter my material or create my material in a material master I can actually specify the storage location okay so that as you can see here I have got uh, three different storage locations under plant 3400 so I can choose which storage location I want to view the data so in this way the unrestricted quantity here is the, is the, is the amount which shows the, the quantity of the goods that is available for this material under this storage location and under this plant so if I go for other plant sorry other storage location let's say three four zero zero and look at how many storage location they have one they have got only one storage location for plant three four zero zero so I will know how much quantity that is available for this material under this storage location if I go to if I want to see the plant level stocks that means the quantity that is shown in the unrestricted field here is a summation of quantity available in all the individual storage locations if we have multiple storage locations say 1 2 and 3 you can see the quantity available in each storage location here for example in this tab here so when you click this tab it will ask for your storage location to enter just choose the storage location in which you want to see the quantity but if you want to see the stocks the total stocks available at the plant level just go here so that it doesn't subdivide by the storage location it will show the stock for this material at the plant level which is a summation of all these three storage locations we just save this
all right so now we know the importance of storage locations let us see how we can create a storage location it is under enterprise structure definition materials management maintain storage location okay just click this press the plant sorry not press sorry uh, just enter the plant NY or San Francisco Houston or you can choose from here these are the plants that we have let me look for NY it's here all right let's click OK so I can have as you can see here one plant can have many storage locations so I'm going to create at least three storage locations press the new new entries button and you have nothing to choose so you need to enter a new one just enter SL1 or warehouse one in other words the other word for storage location is actually warehouse within a factory we we may have many warehouses so the the storage locations can be assigned to each and every warehouses so it can also be called as warehouses in a simple English so I'm going to use the same term warehouse 1 warehouse 2 warehouse 3 and press save so I've created three warehouses for plant and Y oops there's a problem let me check why it has been created but it just thrown a shutdown I'm not sure well let's proceed with it address for storage location I press new entries We are not going to create any addresses for storage locations, so just leave it empty. No, because in our example, all the warehouses reside in the same plant. Okay, so we don't have to actually create addresses for storage locations. The reason why they allow us to create. Uh, addresses is that one plant may have uh, warehouses in different areas okay for example although our factory is here I can maintain a warehouse outside of my factory in a different uh, county or city let's say my warehouse is outside of my factory which is in New Jersey New Jersey warehouse so this is just a uh, storage location to stock my goods so this is not a factory don't mistaken this is not a factory it is just a storage location to stock goods so the goods from this warehouse will be used by this factory which is based in New York okay so in other words when the factory is uh, based in New York the warehouses can be anywhere outside of New York in, the exam in this example it is based in New Jersey so in that case if that happens you can actually specify uh, warehouse 4 New Jersey just see warehouse and specify an address for that the physical address of New Jersey press US and press address New Jersey and click OK so we have specified a address for 
this warehouse which is based in New Jersey is that clear although you can have specify multiple uh, many different addresses for one storage location it does not make sense to me because uh, I have not come across any companies which are using multiple addresses different uh, warehouse locations in different addresses so one address will be sufficient although the system allows you to create multiple addresses which means that the same storage location same warehouse can have a sub warehouse somewhere around a, uh, nearby New Jersey in a different address but collectively both belongs to one warehouse so we can maintain a different address for that okay in this case we are not going to use that feature just save it so we have created four warehouses for New York let me create sorry not this one let me create a warehouse for San Francisco San Francisco plant I'm going to create only one warehouse one Press save and for Houston I'm going to create two HO warehouse one warehouse one warehouse two all right I'm done okay so we have completed this part we created four plants for New York two for Houston and one for San Francisco let me end the topic here and you know the usage of uh, storage location is for this purpose okay to subdivide a big factory into multiple warehouses multiple locations where stocks are stocked <laughs>